what is up guys got another knife review video for you today pretty stoked about this fidget beast this finally had to jump on the SOG Terminus XR bandwagon we got the D2 steel we got the axis lock, which is very similar to the Benchmade's axis lock. We got three or four ways technically you can open it. We got the traditional flipper tab, which works really well. We got just the, the axis lock. You can flip it open, which works really well. You kind of have to get used to it. It's hard to do it at this angle I'm um, situated, but normally I don't have a problem with it at all. There we go, I just kind of have to angle it a little better. You can also use the thumb stud, which works also really well. All three of those ways are really comfortable ways to deploy it. And you can also open it with the thumb, which is kind of weird. I don't know why you would do that, but it's an option. My favorite way. I just really like this axis lock. It takes some getting used to. Like You have to position it just right in your hand to use. You have to like set it right in there so you can like get it with both. And then... And you have to pull it back just the right amount for it to be loose. If you pull it back too far, it locks. It won't be, well, it doesn't lock, but it won't be fully loose and it will get stuck. So it just takes some getting used to and then it becomes like so smooth once you're used to like. Yeah, like I said, this angle is kind of hard to open it, but normally, yeah. Never have any problems with it. We got the G10 scales. We got the G10 backspacer, steel liners. We got the Torx head pivot screw and Torx head on the other screws as well. The pocket clip, it's like the hook style pocket clip. There's probably a bolt on the inside or something. Or this bolt probably goes through and into the pocket clip. Which I like. It's like the ultimate deep carry pocket clip. So that's nice. Ergonomics, really good. You can hold it like this, really comfortable. You can hold it like this, really comfortable. That's also really comfortable. You can also choke up. Use this little finger choil, which is nice. And then you got this jimping for more precise cuts. Let's see here. On the blade it says studies and observations group. SOG, you know, and then Terminus XR. Cryo D2. We got the stonewashed blade, which looks good. I like it clip point blade, clip point style blade and I think they have other versions of this knife I'm not sure if they have different types of steel but they have, I think they have different versions with different scales like aluminum or G or like black G10 or blue G10 or something but yeah very affordable knife. I got this used actually for like 60 bucks, but you can get them new for like pretty much the same price. Depending on where you look. The color coordination is really good. The red black with the silver. I can appreciate that for sure. Yeah, SOG makes pretty good knives. I think they're American-made knives. I have one other SOG knife. Let's see if we can find that real quick. 
Yep. It's this bad boy. We already got it. I already have a video on this, so go check that out. But I love this knife. So all my experiences I've had with SOG have been really good. So I highly recommend. All right, guys. Well, that's all I have to say about this knife. Oh, wait. I was going to go a little more in depth on this here flipper tap. So we got this jimping. It's a unique shape for a flipper tab, basically. You got the jimping there, which you can like kind of grip on it with which works but I find it's better to like catch the top and like don't even use the jimping and just that's just my personal preference but all right that was the last thing so let me know what you think of the video hope you enjoyed it I enjoyed making it I also enjoy just messing with these knives so Alright guys, peace.